Uh, Lewis, another goal for you on uh, on Tuesday night. You've really found a knack of, of getting goals in League One, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to have George in the team, um, obviously. But um, yeah, a few goals. Uh, is that something you've always had as part of your game? Someone who, who does seem to find the back of the net? Um, yeah, the previous two years, um, I only scored once. So, but in the youth at my uh, other club, Herefane, uh, I've scored a few goals. I think um, maybe 12, 12 goals. Yeah. Alex Palmer was, was talking after the game saying you used to be on free kicks. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I'm still practicing them. But um, yeah, I just have to find the right moment to uh, to take them. <laughs> and what are you? Are you, are you a, a David Beckham esque to curl it in, or are you more of a, a David Luiz who takes it from centre half and just strikes it as hard as they can? Yeah, no, more David Luiz, more David Luiz. I can I can curl them also, but more David Luiz, yeah. Um, you've obviously adapted to life in in League One and, and England very well. Has it surprised you just how well you've been able to to get used to to English football? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, um, I was aware of the of the level, um, how, how quick it goes um, compared to uh, the second division in Holland. But um, yeah, I think I think I, I knew it suited me. It suited me well. Like the the like the big guys, like more. It's more strength and like um, uh, is it more strength and. Um, uh, like running and stuff, but um, I think the, the other part of my of my play is the technical part. So I think it fits well in this in this league. Uh, the FA Cup this weekend then for for Lincoln. Uh, are you aware of the history of this competition over over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about it before and um, seen it on uh, on TV in Holland also. So um, yeah, I, yeah, I only looked at the at the bigger clubs to be fair, but. Um, yeah, it's a very big league game. I mean, Lincoln have had some great runs in recent years. We reached the, the quarterfinals a, a few years ago. I guess as a player, when you've got the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool and, and company ed, uh, heading into the next round, it's key to get a result this weekend. Yeah, yeah, of course. It was the same with, um, uh, with the Carabao Cup um, when we played against uh, Bradford, I think. Um, so it's a lot on, on, the, on stake. Uh, to say but um, yeah just just see through this game and um, then we'll look forward yeah you, you had that uh, recent injury you, you've recovered all right and feeling good and, and back to strength and back fit yeah yeah I'm feeling good it was a, it was a groin injury but it's um, it's all gone now so I'm feeling good um, Adam Jackson's been alongside you the last couple of games how important is he during a game to help you you know guide you through and, and guide the rest of the team through someone with his experience yeah, very important. He talks, uh, he talks a lot to me during the game, after the game, before the game. Um, so I think he's very important for me, but also for the team. Um, so I think great player uh, to have beside me. And um, yeah, I'm very happy to, to play with him. Uh, I've been asking the, the manager and, and your captain about what they do to keep themselves entertained on the bus on the way down. What are you going to be doing with the, the long journey? Um, now a few players have... Um, PlayStation in a box with them, so uh, maybe that, or otherwise I just watch some uh, some series on my uh, on my iPad. Um, maybe some cards, but uh, yeah, I just have to look through it. And was was there quite big journeys when you played in Holland? Was there as, as long as this? Did you have some long journeys like this? Um, we had when I was at Herefane, um Dordrecht was more center in Holland. But Herefe was more at the top, so if we had to play uh, Road I don't know if you know the club, but that was like four or five hour drive, so that was the furthest drive. Oh, not but too yeah. bad then compared to uh, compared to Saturday. Uh, and yeah. overall, you know, are you are you happy with life at Lincoln? Happy with how things are going? Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, still the same. Everybody um, helps me. Everybody um, is open to to help me with stuff and um, but I feel good my own place my own yeah I'm just I'm just I'm just good lovely thank you mate cool. uh, good morning Lewis um, good morning, after the after your goal at Swindon on Tuesday you, you made like a, a hand gesture um, like just part of your celebration I've seen a picture of it can you tell me what that was about 
That's um, it's actually from anime from an anime series. Um, but me and uh, my boys in Holland, we have that sort of sign to uh, to do. Um, yeah, it's just something for me and my boys. Nothing very special. So like a message to your friends back home, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you? You've got seven goals this season. Are, are you surprised to have that that number already? Um, yeah, I can't say. I knew I was going to score seven goals, so. Um, a bit surprised, but um, yeah, I just took my chances and scored a goal, so I'm happy with that. Um, do you feel that uh, opposing defences are trying to counteract you at, at corners and they've obviously noticed that you're a threat? Is it becoming more difficult to find space in the box at attacking corners? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, some of the teams are dealing better with it than other teams, but. Um, we also have a few few different things to do now, so things they don't expect. Um, but yeah, it seems to seems to work out work out. Um, that me coming at the back post, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, because obviously, if the defenders are concentrating on you, it, it creates space for your teammates. Hopefully, yeah, that's another thing. So, um, but mostly most of the time, I'm. I'm still with with one man, so I'm the, uh, they defend me with one one man. So it's not like two or three people are defending me. Um, but yeah, they they know what I want to do. Um, so we have to variate it with different kind of movements in the box. Um, how's the move been from a, a personal point of view? Obviously, new club, new country. You've obviously moved at a very difficult time in the world with the whole COVID situation. Um, how's it been over the last few months from that point of view? Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit hard, but um, because I, I haven't seen my parents for a while now and uh, my friends either. So, but if I just, I'm just happy to to be in every day at the, at the club and um, to play football. So that's the, the thing, the main thing that makes me happy. So that's that's easy. That's it's it's uh, good that I still can play football. Otherwise, it would be even worse. But um, just that my focus on football is not too bad. So uh, yeah. Are you looking forward to that day when you can finally play in front of fans at Lincoln Stadium? I know the fans are really looking forward to seeing you play. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I can't wait to play in front of them. Um, and to uh, have them see me play and see the team play because uh, I know they've been waiting uh, a long time on that moment. But um, yeah, unfortunately, we still have to wait.